No, you cheated. You hit one twice. Hey, there's nothing more important down there than there is up here, is there? Of course not. Look, babe. Once we're on the island, there's going to be nobody else in the world except the two ones. And you're going to know how much I love you. Santana, leave it there. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. How about you guys? You okay? We're fine. You look great. Oh, you too. Just great. Look, I really want to get out of here, okay? Why the gun? He killed Channing. Well, just what in the hell were you going to do about it? Let me go. He's back. Grandma, I'm late. Hello, Mrs. Lockridge. Back from the beach? Yes. Is this the latest beach fashion? And not a trace of sand in sight? Shall we have inspection? <clears throat> so, how are you, Mrs. Lockridge? Would you like to know what my father once did to a young man who brought me home late? Grandma, it wasn't his fault. Don't drop yourself. Um, Lincoln, I'll see you around. Okay, bye. Thanks. Grandma, why'd you have to... Never mind. Boy, longest journey of my life. Quentin to Santa Barbara. How did, how did you find out? Oh, it was on the news, the, the TV, the radio, everything. I guess I should have called. I don't know, I just ran out of there and got the first bus I could. Shall we? Yeah. I don't know. Start over, huh? It's all gonna be good now. <laughs> Where's Dad? He's, um... He's having a problem with his leg today. What? His leg? Yeah, he's gonna meet us at the house. Thank you, Philip. Uh, show me. John? Hello, Mr. Capwell. It's about Joe? Yes. 
I understand he's being released from prison and is coming back to Santa Barbara. My wife and daughter went to meet him. I uh, called you here to enlist your cooperation. What can I do? Let me be blunt. Your son can cause me and my family, particularly my daughter Kelly, a lot of problems. I hope not. I've been through too much. Can't take any chances. I don't know my Joe anymore. I don't know what to expect. Nevertheless, his, uh, his father, you can exert a certain control over his life. Maybe. John, I don't confess uh, to many people that I'm afraid. But I must say that your son frightens me. Not for myself, but for my daughter. I'd like to think he's paid for what he's done. John. John, you and I go back a long way. I helped you get a job when you were out of work. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Every once in a while, I run into Jade and Marissa. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. Now, you wouldn't want your happiness, yours and your family, spoiled again by something foolish or impulsive that Joe does, would you? He's done enough. How do you feel about the boy's return? Not good. I, I'm grateful for your honesty. We all have expectations for our sons. Every man does. John, do what you can to rectify uh, what's been done. Of course, uh, nothing to bring my son Channing back, but at least further uh, harm can be avoided. And frankly, uh, I would much prefer that your son doesn't try to stay in Santa Barbara. Yes, Mr. Capwell. Breeze. Hello, beauty. We have to go hunting. Hunting for Joe Perkins. Okay, so you hate Perkins. That happened five years ago, Santana. You made a new life for yourself. We all have. I haven't forgotten. I'm very worried about you. I'm angry. I ought to be. You ought to be. Of course I am. Why the gun, Santana? Santana, I'm assistant DA. I want some answers. I don't have any answers. I don't know, Mason. Would have been the stupidest thing you could have done. I'm not so sure about that. Nothing good could come from you shooting Joe Perkins. You had a gun, Santana. I couldn't have used it. I want to believe that. I couldn't. You know I couldn't. If I didn't, I'd have to arrest you. I thought about it, maybe, but I couldn't have done it. I know. Just take it easy. Stay here until you settle down. That's it. That's the way. Who was that young man? Someone you met at school? He don't want to know. Someone you think I wouldn't approve of. I plead the fifth. Not in this living room, you don't. I really didn't like his face. He's very nice. He gave me a corsage. A corsage at the beach? We weren't at the beach, Grandma. At least not the whole time. 
Very lovely. Now, what are you hiding from me? It wouldn't be a Capwell. Ted Capwell. You've seen him around. That's the one name you would hide from me. Grandma, don't get upset. You know, we've only seen each other a couple of times. He sort of invited me at the last second to his sister's engagement party. Since I wasn't dressed for it, we spent most of the time dancing in the Capitol stables. Very earthy. It didn't get too earthy. Capitol is the one name we do not mention in this house. I think the whole dumb feud is so stupid. That reminds me. Listen closely. To what? Don't you hear that? Hear what? That noise, that racket, that invasion of my privacy. I hear faint music. It's been going on all day long. It's nice. It's been the Capwell party. Well, I can tell you. I couldn't nap with that noise going on. Grandma, I can't even hear it when the window's closed. I can barely hear it when it's opened. Then you must have been born half deaf. Pretty cat. Megan! Uh-oh. Grandma, don't tell Mother I was out with Ted Capo, okay? Please, Grandma. I love this place. It's home. Home. Well, I kept your room just as you left it. Almost. What? Well, I left my sewing machine in your room, but I can move it. Hey, no, no hurry, Mom. <laughs> it's great. You know, things look exactly like I remembered. Oh, Joey. You left a boy. You come back a man. I can see you're a man. Well, you're back. Yeah. Hi, Dad. I'm home. Hitching a ride back with Nick. Now the yacht's anchored in the cove. There's a little water in the dinghy, but no sweat. Okay, thanks, Free. You have a good time. Okay. See Bye. ya. A little water, but no sweat, huh? I'm inclined to sweat it. <laughs> Come on, Peter. Worst comes to worst, we can always swim back to the cove. There goes our last tie with civilization. You're starting fresh. What's uh, wrong with your leg? I heard you had a bad leg. I heard it after you left. There were some bad times for all of us after you left. I guess so. What are your plans? I don't know. I haven't thought much. You better start thinking. Well, there's a lot out there. I thought I might get a job. Not in Santa Barbara. You won't get one here. Well, John, maybe you could get Joe a job in one of the oil rigs. 
But what about Mr. Mullen's fishing boats? Stay out of this, Jade. I hate this. Somebody's got to tell the truth. Maybe you ought to go do something else until this is over. Okay. Okay. Joe, I'm glad you're home. You don't have much to say to me, do you? I don't know what to say. Well, maybe you're not glad that I'm out. Maybe you'd rather see me back in the slammer. Oh, no, Joey. No. I'm going to spend every waking minute of my life trying to find out who did do it. I'd like to know why I spent five years in prison when I, I didn't do anything to hurt anybody. And there's somebody out there, some killer, walking around free. Welcome to our modest little... What's mat. this? That's for later. Oh, you're not telling. You got it. No, I love you, Miss Capwell. Miss Capwell, soon to be Mrs. Flint. Mm -hmm. You know, it's our world out here. Yours and mine. And to hell with the rest of it. Plague. Pestilence. Do we care? Mm, not much. Not at all. Hey, how about a swim before dinner? Or are you too tired? You treat me like I'm frail. I'm tough. <laughs> yeah, I know. You are. It's quite a change, huh? Mm-hmm. Everybody needs us once in a while. Has something to your soul. Mm. I've loved it out here. Ever since I was a child. We always take boat rides and picnics every Mother's Day. Even after your mom died. Does it make you sad? No, not at all. I love you. You know that? I think I do. You'll be my wife. And we'll have lots of kids to celebrate Mother's Day. Populate the entire world. <laughs> no more than I can count on my fingers and toes, okay? <laughs> okay. But I got an edge there. Because you had six fingers at last <laughs> count. <laughs> I get the impression that you've thought all along I killed Channing Capwell Jr. No, Joey, no. Come on, Ed, speak up. Speak up. Tell us the truth about how you feel. Well, there's one thing for sure. What? I can't stay here. Oh, don't say that. No, I can't stay in the same house with the father that thinks I'm guilty. I couldn't live that way and neither could Dad. What, do you have anything to say, Dad? Anything at all? Hi, Dad. What's happening? Oh, I was just uh, putting this back. I wondered what happened to it. Did you see uh, Ted? Uh, no, I didn't. I haven't seen him all afternoon. It's a damn shame. He missed his sister's engagement party. Uh, his loss, Dad. I wondered what happened to him. Why he didn't show up. Well, you know how Ted is. And you know how he feels about Peter. I don't care. It's his responsibility to be with a family on an occasion like this. On a besoin de se serrer les coudes maintenant. Hi, Mother. Well, I hardly recognized you, Augusta. Why? Your claws. They're less than perfect. I had a hard day. I see you're your usual self. Where on earth have you been? With friends. All afternoon? Yes. You said you were going to the beach for an hour. Were you there the whole time? 
Well, you know how it is when you're young, Augusta. It's easy to lose track of time. Minx, she's my daughter. Augusta, she's my granddaughter. I'll handle this. Mother, there's nothing to deal with. I'm home. Everything's fine. Don't put me in the middle of an argument. Charles is under in 70 pound loads. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next time, pet roses that don't have thorns in them, okay? You're crazy. Uh, oh, what's happening? Just wanted to see you. Oh, you're bleeding. Oh, oh, oh don't worry. See, I. Oh, I just didn't feel like leaving. I, I drove off, got about half a mile, and then I slapped a huge. <laughs> we were. Grandma's timing wasn't too good. I think before we were interrupted, I think I was saying you talk too much. You might have. I wasn't listening too well. And I, I do talk too much, though. Sometimes. Why the gun, Santana? I don't know. Santana. I don't know. I've never seen you like this. I just need some time alone, I think. I don't understand, Santana. I don't understand why you're so wrought up. Please. Darling, I love you, but I need to know what's going on. I know. You know I'd do anything in the world for you. And tell your mother, darling. Something is very, very wrong. I'm okay now. What is it about Joe Perkins? You knew him? What then? What? Because he killed Channing? That was more than five years ago. You and Channing? Santana? Yes. You and Channing. What about you and Channing? He was so wonderful. You grew up with him. You loved him like a brother. No. We all loved him. It was different for me. Different? How different? <sighs> Mama, can you leave it alone for God's sake? You were in love with Channing. were young, impressionable. I loved him more than I've ever loved anyone. It was an infatuation, Santana. No, Mama. It was much more than that. <sighs> we worked very hard to keep it a secret for a long time. We knew that you and dad wouldn't approve. 
Oh, my girl. Oh, Santana, it's been so hard for you. So very hard. It's been much, much more than you know. Why? How did we get into this? What else is there? Tell me, Santana. You weren't secretly married or anything. No. I love you, my dearest daughter. There's no reason why I wouldn't help you with anything. I got pregnant, Mama. <laughs> pregnant? I was happy to be pregnant. I was proud of it. And the baby? What happened to the baby? <laughs> My baby was taken away from me. Taken? It was taken away? Well, arranged for me to have a summer job in Acapulco. You remember? You were to work in the Capwell summer home. I remember. I gave birth to my baby in Acapulco. Oh, my darling. Oh, Santana. It's true, Mama. You had a baby. A, a, a girl? A boy. Oh, a boy. I got to see him once. He was so beautiful. He was a perfect baby boy. How could you not tell me? Your child? My grandchild, I would have loved him. I was afraid, Mama. Afraid of me? How could you be afraid? You know how I love you. I was afraid, that's all. Understand. I was so ashamed, Mama. Ashamed to be in love? Ashamed to be that close to a man before I was married. You know how we were raised? You know what Dad would have said? What he thinks. He would have said, we don't do things like that. toi qui dois me pardonner d'avoir été une mère que tu ne pouvais pas approcher. You want me to say something, Joe? I'll say something. I'll tell you what it's been like all these years you've been in prison. Say whatever you want to say. Think of the money, for instance. All the legal bills about wiped us out. We had to pay for that huge trial. The attorneys, they cleaned up. Do you know how we managed to pay? No. John, don't. Stop now. We took out a second mortgage on the house. We're drowning in debt and paying interest. A whale of an interest rate. 
I'm sorry, Dad. You see this? She's been wearing this for the last five years. She's worn this same dress probably once a week since you went to prison five years oh, ago. Mom, I'm sorry. Your parents will be out of hock in maybe 20 years. You got out of the slammer in five. We'll get out of hock in 20. That's it, we lived that long. Just stop it. Let you me... shut up. You were the one who was supposed to be so successful. You were the one who was going to marry a rich girl. You were the one who was going to be somebody we could pin our hopes on. Because it turned out, Joseph, you're the one who put us in hell. I'll leave, Dad. No! What do you mean, no? I mean, no. I mean, Joey doesn't leave. You leave, John Perkins. You get out of this house and out of this family. Your father's leaving, Joey, not you. How's your word up an appetite? Yeah, a little. All right, you want to check this out? I'd like that. Okay. My modest welcome to our little nest. Mm -hmm. Does it meet with your satisfaction? Mm. Roses? Of course, what else? And uh, champagne and caviar? Mm-hmm. What'd you think we'd have the night we celebrated our engagement? Mm -hmm. Beef jerky? <laughs> or something. This is only the beginning. Do you love me? Of course I do. I'm going to make you happy. I promise you that. I believe you. A toast. Absolutely jammed. There were so many roses in front of the Capwells, it looked like a dealership convention. Well, you managed to get through. Oh, thank heavens. I didn't have to go to that party. There must have been 400 people there. Really? Can't imagine anything worse than having to make conversation with those people. I mean, what do they talk about? Wine labels, dust labels. Boys, when you think about it. They aren't all that way, Mom. Oh, spare me. Oh, Lakin, yes. would you help me with something? Sure, what? Well, I ruined two fingernails. Mm -hmm. I cannot get hold of my manicures, and I can't walk around like this. No, Listen, um, I can meet you in your room. Oh, thanks, darling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, leave a pair of dirty socks under there? Maybe. Well, something smells good to breathe. Come on, breathe. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You can come out now. Oh, you can come out now. You're very quiet. Am I? Yes. It's a key slope. I don't know why. I don't feel quiet. I guess I expected something else. What's the matter? Nothing. Hey, I know you too well. Look, I'm sorry, Peter. I don't know what it is. You want another glass of champagne? No, thanks. It's wonderful being here. 
Yeah, I was surprised when your father made the arrangements. Mm. My father can be very open-minded. But he can also be very conservative in a lot of ways. Don't let him fool you. How about his daughter? Has she fooled me? Me? I'm an open book. No, I don't think so. But I guess there is something tantalizing about a woman who keeps a certain part of herself aloof. Aloof? Am I? Yeah, in some ways. Is it tantalizing? Oh, you always are. So are you just dying to know what it is I'm hiding? I am. Then how are you going to go about this? Shall I show you? Don't ask. I'm not asking. Termites get bigger every year. What's wrong? Uh, I'm feeling... I guess I'm just feeling strange tonight. Were you sick? No, it's not anything like that. I don't know what it is. Hey, babe, I love you. I love you, too. Well, what is it, then? I don't know. Look, we just celebrated our engagement. I know. Well, then what's wrong? I mean, is it, is it something I, I've done? No. Is it something I said? What? You know it isn't. What is it then? Look, it's my fault. It's not yours. You've been wonderful, Peter. Please don't blame yourself. Yeah, well, I can't blame you. It is my fault. I'm not the person you want me to be. And I'm not the person I want to be. Peter, don't look that way. What do you expect me to do, Rejoice? I need some air. I think I want to go for a swim. That's a hell of a way to cool a guy off. I said the truth. Oh, John, the truth. I'll tell you what the truth is, John Perkins. The truth is you have said things that won't be forgotten. I can't forget them and neither can Joey. Now, you know he didn't kill anyone. He couldn't. I know what the police said. I talked to C.C. Kaplan. I know what he and his family have gone through. I saw Joe's girlfriend, Kelly Kaplan, testify against Joe. Even she knew he did it. Oh, I don't care what she said. I don't care what the court said. They're wrong. 
John, how could you stay in this house if you don't think your son is innocent? If you don't know in your gut he's innocent? Well, I can't stay. Actually, maybe it's for the best. Look, I, I, don't, I don't see how you can say that. Well, since we've been talking about being truthful, the truth is that I haven't felt wanted here for a long time. Does anybody want to hear more of the truth? Or should I just shut up and go now? No. Tell us what you're thinking. We've got to hear it. All of it. Okay. The ugly truth is, my wife, your mother, has loved you, Joe, more than she's loved me. Oh, I don't believe that. It's true. It's been that way for at least the last five years. My wife, Marissa, has thought only of her son, Joe. Not of me. John, it's not true. John, no, he's been in prison. I can't take it anymore. Dad. Dad, no, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Look, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. Who did? Dad. Dad, listen to me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, and I'm going to prove I didn't do it. I got some words of advice for you. Stay away from Kelly Capwell. 